All right, welcome back, guys. I hope you're doing well. So, Vasil Lomachenko and George Cambosis are rumored to be fighting each other in April in Australia. In I think it's the first or second week of April. It hasn't been announced yet, but it's an interesting fight. It's the exact fight that the Lomachenko team can take after basically ducking Shakur Stevenson. And I, I made a video about ducking. I'll leave the link up here because I actually go quite light on fighters that duck because there are, you know, more than more than just, oh, I don't want to fight that fighter or, or, you know, it's like they just don't take the fight. There's so much that goes into it. I won't go into it too much here, but generally speaking, you've got the team's decision. You've got you know, they probably, Loma's team probably thought they got robbed. I don't think they did get robbed. I thought it was a very close fight. I didn't have a problem with it either way, 7-5 either way or a draw. I've had it, actually scored it all three. So, but they feel like they got robbed. Okay, now fighting Shakur Stevenson is complicated. Okay, <laughs> very complicated. And the team are just probably like, we just can't deal with that. We just don't want that headache. Then maybe the money wasn't great. I don't know. That's always a big part of it. But look at the fight they're going to get now. I mean, it, it, Cambosis is a big name in Australia. They could put it on pay-per-view. It's a very winnable fight for Lomachenko stylistically. It's much more in his favor. And, you know, it's also what you have to get yourself up for. I'm not saying Cambosis isn't that fight that you get yourself up for, but... Just the the complications that Shakur Stevenson brings, and just the spectacle of it as well. Obviously, his last fight, I haven't actually seen that yet. I, I, I for some reason I went to bed, I was tired, and I was just like I just didn't, didn't want to stay up any longer. I was like I'll watch it in the morning, and I woke up. And I read about it a little bit, and I was like, until I really want to watch that, <laughs> so I didn't watch it in the end. But point is, Stevenson can dead the place out, right? He had a great fight with Jamel Herring and he's, he's looked a bit more exciting to be fair to him against that Japanese guy as well. And the, the Valdez fight was all right as well. So I'm not trying to say that this is his only thing, but when there's a, a more of a threat or he has to really ultra be conservative and shut, shut you down, then he will. So, you know, like... I just don't think that Loma Shakur fight would have, would have. It's like I don't know. It it, it sounds better than Loma Chenko and George Cambosis. We know George Cambosis will come. He's a fiery dude. He's got skills as well. He has obviously lost two of his last three. A lot of people thought he lost against Maxi Hughes. Now I watched that fight a couple of days ago, just like casually highlights and stuff. I was just trying to study what was going on. Very nip and tuck, um, but. You know, obviously, Maxi Hughes didn't have come in with a great deal of power, and there was no way they were they were going to give him that that anyway. So, you know, but it did look close enough. But there were many people thought that that Hughes just edged it. But nonetheless, you know, he's going in there with another southpaw, ultra southpaw, Lomachenko. It's a tough ass. You got to take your hat off to Cambosis, really. That's a tough schedule he's had. I'm not saying Maxi Hughes was, but he's a tricky fighter. Tricky Southpaw. I don't know if he was his mandatory, but that was a an interesting fight to take. Or no, not mandatory because he's not a champion. <laughs> why? Why would he take that fight? I don't know. But anyway, that's a tough schedule. Devin Haney twice. Lomachenko now. Loma still. He's still got some Loma left in him. You know that he proved that against Devin Haney. That was a, a really good performance. It really was. I thought it'd be competitive, and I. I I went back and forth about who was going to win. I was like, oh, I edged it to Haney. And then on the last hour, I made a video again and I switched to Lomachenko. But that just shows you how close the fight was. Because it was. But this is a decent fight. It is. And like I, I really enjoy watching fighters get paid and do what they do and you know earn their living well. Cambosis has earned that right. He has. You know, he had an absolutely tremendous... It's amazing what one, one, one really good win can do for you. I know he had some good wins before that. He beat Mickey Bain and he beat um, Lee Selby. Those were good wins. Mickey Bay wasn't quite what he used to be, but it was still a decent win. And, you know, Cambosis won those fights. And there was one more that I might be forgetting, but 
Obviously, the main fight I'm talking about was a T.O. fight. That was a sensational performance. And he got himself so up for that. That, that was just like, that got pushed back and pushed back. And it was on Thriller, was it? And then it got cancelled. And then it was on the zone. There was all this palaver. But he came out and he beat T.O. Lopez. You know, I know there was a lot of um, things that came out after that. But look, he, he did what he had to do. He did what he could do. And he won the fight. And he won the belts. And then he took on a tough challenger. And you've got to respect it twice. And, you know, now he's, he's, he's still he's still got that, that name. And he's still, he's, you know, if, he, if another loss happens now, you know, I think, you know, that, that's going to be interesting to see where he can go from there. Because maybe drop down a level and don't fight a southpaw. <laughs> or someone that's skilled as Haney. But, look, I think it's interesting. I don't know if he's still with the Javier Centeno, is it? Uh, Javier... His, his pad guy, the guy that uh, trains Zen Desires. I'll find out. But I like the fight. And it'll be in Australia, pay per view. And it'll be a big event down there. And it's just, it sounds like a, an interesting matchup, right? But do I give Cambosis a chance? No, not really, to be honest. Um, which is a contradiction in itself because that wouldn't make for a, a good fight but I guess a good spectacle will he have his moments perhaps because um, we know Lomachenko is nowhere near done but it's the footwork situation Cambosis is for me his footwork is a little clumsy and you know with Lomachenko doing all those pivots and, and, and head feints and slips and angle changes and so I think it could be a nightmare for Cambosis to be honest with you um, and I would expect Lomachenko to win a clear UD, but we'll see. Let me know your thoughts on who you think will win that fight. Do you like the fight? It's obviously probably going to be on pay-per-view in Australia. I don't know whether they'll put it on the main ESPN Plus here, but I'll be watching. Yeah, I'll be watching. I, I just, I really, I'm curious to see, you know, if Loma's got any more in him to fight. I would love to see him fight Tank. Or, you know, I'd say I was kind of down in the Shakur fight. Still, part of me would like to see it just to see how he could actually deal with him. But I know part of me thinks that that could be a boring fight as well. But, you know, he's he's a legend, Lomachenko. He really is. I remember when he burst on the scene in the HBO years ago and I was just, like, enamored. I was like, wow. I've got to, I've got the chance to see him at fight at uh, MSG and he brings a massive crowd with him. He bring, He's He's like what um a football team right if let's just say barcelona pops up and they're doing an exhibition in new york you just get loads of people coming because they know who that is i think loma's reached to that point you in a european level will he be able to bring those fans to australia i don't know he probably have some fan he's got a pretty decent fan base in the uk they came out for the luke campbell fight he does have that and look in new york here he, bring, he brings out like that was a packed Madison Square Garden against Linares and you know people were singing the football chants and stuff like that that's why he's 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 broken into that um, not mainstream but close to it I think anyway I've been rambling a little bit uh, I just made a Haney or oh, Pro Grey Haney breakdown and that should be out right alongside this one but that's it from me i hope you have a lovely week what is it now tuesday yeah by this time it'll be wednesday so all right have a good one take care